Helping those in need have a hot meal on Thanksgiving Day. Dozens of Pittsburgh police officers will be delivering almost 4,000 meals. Jennifer Barrasso shows us how they're getting ready to deploy. Ken, the program Get Stuff With Love started two decades ago, serving 250 people. Tonight, we met volunteers as young as six years old, and we asked them why they're giving back. A seasonal miracle. Inside Holy Assumption of St. Mary Orthodox Church, you see a labor of love on this Thanksgiving Eve. Volunteers from Bethel St. Clair and North Allegheny Rotary Clubs and church members. Definitely very thankful for what I already have myself, but also very proud to give back to the community. Helping Pittsburghers who are struggling get a hot Thanksgiving meal. There's no better feeling than helping people, and especially around the holidays, it's really important. It means a lot. I like helping people. I've been volunteering since I was like six or seven. The Get Stuff With Love program began at Tom's Diner on East Carson Street. I've also had people who have needed help in the past and then they come and volunteer the next year or a couple years later. When the diner closed, Father Patrick Carpenter opened his church to volunteers. He's a double amputee, which doesn't stop him from helping ensure Pittsburgh police officers can deliver Thanksgiving meals throughout the city. The blue angels of our city, the police, take those dinners out to whomever need it, to those who live under the bridges, to those in nursing homes, to those who are, literally can't get out of their home. And showing others, like this Ross Township family of eight, the importance of giving back. That we're here to help. How does that make you feel? Happy. To love their neighbor as themselves and really help out um, with those who need help. So hopefully we're getting across. And I'm told tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. about 50 Pittsburgh police officers will show up here to start delivering those Thanksgiving meals. In the South Side, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.